Hey guys, I know it's been a long, long time since my last video, and I've been wa I've been on YouTube watching everybody's videos, but I'm not one of the guys that likes to make a video every other day because I don't really I don't know I don't really have an interest in doing it every single day. So what we're gonna be talking about today is sort of a discussion and. I have right here, which is the bullion, obviously, the two um, silver rounds that I got in their tights. Then we have that proof, and then we have, um, well, and obviously a numismatic coin, and I'll show you that in a bit. And I'll tell you what it is in a bit. Um, so here, I got these two off eBay. Two. Mercury, I mean, Barber Dimes. Extremely worn, but I didn't play pay full spots, so it'll make up for the loss in silver weight. Um, my mom found this in her pocket, which is cool. She goes, uh, is this silver? And I said, yep, that's what it is. It's a 1963 date. Um, I got these for $30 a piece with like three dollar and I mean four dollar admission so they're I think they were issued by Chrysler they're these bill of rights rounds and they they were issued like 20 years ago 1991 and they're just they haven't been touched which is really cool I like them a lot so that was the bullion right and then we'll we'll sort of progress on a little bit and right here we've got a awesomely toned um, Franklin half dollar proof obviously I mean look at the reflectivity it's extremely reflective it's actually really cool but I keep this in its own little roll it's proof Franklin half dollar because they're extremely cheap to collect and they're also um, you can get them for close to the bullion with the little advantage of them being proof coins. So when it comes to sell, you can get the premium back pretty much all the time. But here's the um, numismatic coin. Well, before we talk about numismatics, silver's been going extremely crazy over the past weeks. And I'm really, like, I'm sort of stunned because I didn't think it would have that sharp of a move. After that full, I guess, the the whole thing back down to $26, which was pretty amazing. Um, and then all the way back up to past what it was at at 35 It's insane when you think about it. And gold has also, it's been a long time since gold was at 1400 And I, I thought it was, I thought it was going to stay at at least 1400 for a while. But it went pretty freaking low. And, um, of course I didn't sell anything. I didn't, I, gained, I bought more stuff, if anything, because that's the time to buy when silver dips and gold dips. Now, the reason I'm not, I don't, I'm not really that, um, bullish on gold. Well, I like gold, and I think it's, it'll perform well. But I don't think it'll perform as well as silver, because silver is number one more manipulated I think and gold is gold isn't as necessary as silver is in the technological world that we live in so this can be why this can be used as wiring I mean solder the silver solder for silver is the most um, conductive metal and you really can't go wrong with it in any way, shape, or form. It's in technology. It's a pretty cool element. And then you have gold, which is used for gold plating of things in computers, which isn't that big. Because I'm sure that I think it's meant for specific things, but it's not too much like silver as an impact on technology. And all the craziness that's been going on in the Middle East with the 
sort of lowering down of Egypt and then the whole total uprising in Libya is pretty, pretty, um, it puts a lot of pressure on the market and all this stuff. Cairo was closed down for three weeks during the whole Egyptian revolution and the Cairo Stock Exchange and every all the, the markets there. And it's pretty, it's a, it's, it's a very interesting time that we're living in right now. Um, a lot of historical things, things that will be talked about in history to, to people my age of the future. So you should all pay attention to the news and stuff. You, it's, it's one of the things that, it's a pretty big deal what's going on. Um... So now we're going to talk about my newest Matic coin. I showed you my MS64 Morgan dollar, and th those are pretty steady because the both the, the the silver value is like 50. Uh, what did I just say? 50. I wish it was 50. It's going to get to 50 one day. The the silver value is around 26, I think it is, and the coin's worth in MS64 1885. Oh, it's worth about. 60 bucks I could sell it on eBay right now but here is my coin this is a very nice coin it's um, probably one of my most prized coins and it's in excellent condition it's an 1853 25 cent piece VF30 I mean the coin it's beautiful 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 the, the arrows at the below the date one year type variety is very very um it's it's stunning to me how this isn't really a key date because of the total mintage they put the arrows and if you can't see around the eagle they're rays the rays and arrows signify uh signify that are significant because the year before the quarter weighed more than it did here uh, in 18 in 1852 and before it weighed more than 1853 so they put these on to know which one was the which one was the heavier coin the arrows and rays they continued on with the arrows but not the rays on the back that's the one year type variety i mean the coin i l i love every detail about the coin the only problem the main is it isn't that sizable of a coin like and if anyone has an answer to me because it, a normal quarter seems to be bigger I mean it totally shadows it um it it looks a lot 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 bigger than the normal coin so or than this coin so um I bought this off eBay and I I don't really care about buy like you have to be careful with some coins but on eBay the PCGS and NGC certified coins I don't really worry about because number one I buy from the um the the like basically the eBay coin dealers and they have all great feedback and all that stuff and I check the the serial number on PCGS.com and that that I do a lot and um so what um it's the thing about numismatics is interesting because I bought this um this same coin except it was in VF20 for twenty dollars more than I paid for this one. This one was fifty five ish and the other one was seventy five ish, and I got a higher grade here, same um company PCGS, uh, ten points higher on the scale and twenty dollars cheaper. How can't you go wrong with that? So what I did was I won one coin, I returned it, then I bought this coin, and I came out on top. Plus, I think I got a really nice deal on this. I mean, it's a it's an amazing coin. The de I like the details on the VF coins because they're not too worn, they're cheaper, and they show all the original beauty that the coin was intended to show. So, thanks for watching, guys. Um, check out all the... The young uh, stackers and numismatists on YouTube. It's pretty impressive how many kids there are like me. I know a few off the top of my head. Um, I grade MS70. Uh, what's his name? Silver Peasant. 
some just cool kids that um are interested in just as what I am. So thanks everybody. Uh, I'll rate, comment, subscribe, and have fun with the pricing.